cancel culture. Is there a better way? This is how Wikipedia defines cancel culture. I quote, cancel culture or call out culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles, whether it be online, on social media, or in person. Notably, many people claiming to have cancelled, to have been cancelled, often remain in power and continue their careers as before. End of quote. Those subject to this shunning are usually referred to as having been cancelled. The expression cancel culture has mostly negative connotations and is commonly used in debates on free speech and censorship. The notion of cancel culture is a variant on the term call-out culture and constitutes a form of boycotting or shunning involving an individual, often a celebrity, who is deemed to have acted or spoken in a questionable or controversial manner. Moreover, some cancellations have also been defended as exercising free speech and promoting accountability. Others criticize cancel culture as creating a chilling or bullying effect. But the question is, where do we draw the line between cancel culture and bullying? It is worthy of note to mention that most of the cancellation happens by those who have less power than the person or persons being cancelled. So while we are passionate and concerned about censorship, when is it okay not to cancel? When is it okay to be silent? It can be argued that the silence culture has also done us a lot of harm, as many atrocities have been swept under the rug of silence that should have been brought to book. Now, when and how do we decide when to cancel or when to be quiet? Or should we rather err on the side of caution? The other concern is as the nature of all things culture, cultural, it has a tendency to be created by a few for an intended good reason or for you know, good intentions, but also has a tendency to ride a wave and get washed off with the tide of time. But we must, hold, must continue to hold ourselves accountable, we must also act right, not for fear of being judged or being cancelled, but because we are self-respecting, responsible individuals. So what is the most sustainable way to speak to power or to popular figures without cancelling ourselves back to the silence which we feared as dangerous? Where is the critical balance? The Rotary Club four-way of the things we say or do comes to mind. So of the things we think, say, or do. One, is it the truth? Two, is it fair to all concerned? Three, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And four, will it be beneficial to all concerned? I advocate that we'll be careful not to cancel ourselves out of reason. Instead, let us constructively criticize ourselves to growth and to progress. Hmm. Really interesting. <laughs> really interesting. I, you know, it's, it's that thing for me, you know, where do you draw the line? Because uh, I've seen, I've witnessed a few occasions where people have been called out online, uh, either for bad business practices and, you know, years down the line, we have found, you know, the, the accusations to be true. They also you know, people who have, you know, been called out online for things that they, they are said to have done, which are not true. I mean, I, I remember a sad incident where a young man committed suicide, yeah. uh, I think a year ago or two. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's just being able to draw them. And I always say that, you know, we should not be silent when we see things being done in the wrong manner. But we should also think about it, like you said, what is the purpose of what I'm about to say? What good will it do? You know, I'm posting something on social media about someone else. Is it better to ask as a question and have that person answer so that it's not like I've just blatantly assumed that they're, they're, you know, they've done something illegal or wrong? I think it's very difficult in the heat of emotions to be able to get, you know, to find the proper way to do things. But I think if we just all stop for a minute or two to breathe and think about what we're doing, I think, you know, it will, mm. it will reduce uh, all the, you know, tension and, uh, you know, mishaps. I, I think that, I mean, it, in my view, the council culture blatantly stampedes people a lot of times into a movement that they might necessarily not be for. Because let's take, for example, where, and mainly amongst the youth and online nowadays, because let's take, for example, it, it, you're, there's a discussion going on in a particular area, 
and you're speaking in different, I mean, not necessarily against it, but not for it. And suddenly, it's like you're cancelled. You're no longer relevant to that. So mm -hmm. for you to be relevant to the friends, you need That's to tow their line. Flow. So it's like you're stampeded into, okay, let's go with the flow. It's, mm -hmm. When you say bullying, I say, yes, that's actually it. It's, it, it's a silent way of bullying you, especially for people who are not self-sufficient, who feel they need probably the approval mm -hmm. of the lot to just flow the tide. And so, so what about this, right? And you see it a lot, and I'm so tired of celebrities apologizing. I'm done with it. Thank you. Mm. We were all different 10 years ago. Right? Some of the things we said and did 10 years ago, if they bring it today. But we're not the same people. Stop yeah. cancelling yes. people for yes. things yes. they said 10, 15, mm. even 20 years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, people change. Mm. And we need to give people that chance to grow yeah. and understand that every single person that exists on this earth does not agree with everything they did. Yeah. Back, back then, then. Back course, then. so course, but people, people just want to troll through the old history and bring it out and cancel people and i just think don't say sorry stop saying sorry mm -hmm. because you are then helping them cancel you yeah because if you're the, the, who, do you, yes. who do you need to cancel next that's yes, yeah. 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 yeah but, but that's yeah. not to say that i mean so my problem is the culture mm -hmm. right is the thinking behind saying you know let's attack this person mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then get them to take an action because we attack them. Yes. So it's a motive for me because I believe strongly as well that there's a lot of good that social media can do mm -hmm. in terms of accountability. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you know, Shola said earlier that a, a, a politician promised something mm -hmm. and it's five years down the line or two years down the line. It's okay to say, sir, I mean, post his, yeah, uh, his, his what's exactly. it called, his manifesto and say, sir, mm -hmm. this was your manifesto two years ago. We're here to say any of these things. So there's a place mm -hmm. for Calling out. I'm even afraid to say calling out yeah. now, you know. Yeah. I love you that know. you said like, call out yeah. culture. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. it. I'm it's all for call out culture, yeah, not cancel yeah. culture. It's, it's different because yeah. Listen, yeah. what canceling does in my view, before you come mm. in, so I'm just giving <laughs> you of your time, is that it stifles divergent views. Mm -hmm. So you all mm -hmm. must go in a particular line of mm -hmm. thought. Yes. No other person must go wrong. Yes. I, I actually think that it also affects if we keep keeping if we keep um, remaining quiet over issues mm. that come up every day then what happens to somebody who faces that same challenge? Mm -hmm. The person feels intimidated already. For instance, in rape cases, mm -hmm. where you see young girls come out to say, I was raped, there is this attack, mm -hmm. this silent attack. Some people would like to keep quiet, but you hear some people come out to say, are you sure? Are you sure? Mm. As in, are you where sure? You? That, that question. You know, what, what were you wearing? Exactly. You know. So, then, yes. so most ladies who were raped just decide to keep quiet mm. or try to keep it as a secret. Nobody's yeah. talking, and it it goes on and on. And before you know it, it's affecting her psychology. Mm -hmm. She's developing. She's growing in a different manner. She's having a, a particular mindset about mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. So it it affects the culture and it affects our children and even the youths. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you you you. Patting down a culture that doesn't yeah. go yeah, so well. Yeah, so how do you get the critical balance? So there's a silent culture, mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. there's a call-out culture. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically straddling more than achieving the critical balance, mm -hmm. making sure that you give people room. Mm -hmm. Because the whole point of social media, again, I mean, part of the point of social media mm -hmm. is that you have, you know, um, a platform mm -hmm. to express to yourself. To express yourself yeah. You know, but then, but well, then it really showed the, re the the realness of who we are as humanity, and yeah. just shows we had a lot higher the esteem vanity. of who we are, yeah. and it's actually showing the true nature of human beings. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're, when they're given we're, freedom. We're yeah. 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 Now, the the thing is that, you know, Shola, you spoke to something there, and it doesn't even have to be extreme as rape. Mm. In that, people are just scared to speak up because they don't want wahala. Yes. Yeah. Because everybody in that comment section will now be terrorizing really, yeah, you. Yeah. So there's a certain amount of lack of emotional resilience, mm. emotional mm. maturity. Mm. And that speaks yeah. to how we're raising our children. Yes, mm. absolutely. So something happened between, I think, my generation, I can't count for you, <laughs> and the one Abi, and the one after. Because there's a stark difference. Mm -hmm. We are still open to hearing other views and debating other views we understand that we can't all agree but That's we should it. all hear each There's other out because in that discussion yeah. Yeah. and in that debate mm. is how we create things for the better absolutely yeah. so yeah. we can yeah. disagree yeah. without being disagreeable without being, without, yeah, mm. you know, yeah. Without, yeah exactly you see I, I, I there's this program i host on tv lagos talks at 1.3 fm on radio rather and 
I get, it got to a point where when I started the program, some people called in and they said to me, you're a, you're a breath of fresh air. What was it? Is it breath of fresh air? Mm -hmm. Breath of fresh air. Breath of fresh air. Oh, breath <laughs> of fresh air. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> that you allow people air their views without nudging them mm -hmm. in a particular direction. Mm -hmm. right? And I think that's what, that's why, I, like you said, where do we draw the line? There is no drawing the line. Mm -hmm. The council culture is wrong. Call out is better. Mm -hmm. Call out is pointing at what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. council, council culture is more like stifling, oppressing, mm -hmm. bullying, mm -hmm. limiting, judging. they are big, judging, yeah. limiting someone's ability to even think along a particular line. Because you don't need to agree with me, but there might be sense in what I'm saying. And when we're younger, mm. you hear, what you're saying makes sense, but I don't agree with you. Yes. It's yeah. simple. That's, that's, <laughs> and that's independent thinking. That's it. Yeah. That's part of education. Yeah. What education should do is allow you to have your own opinion. That's it. But mm. then be sensible and intelligent enough to take other people's opinion. Opinion. Mm. And not agree with it mm. and still not fight them. That's exactly. Well, yeah. All right. Fantastic. On last week's episode on the issue of special needs children in the Nigerian education system, Great Adventure Book says teachers need to learn how to reach every child, irrespective of how the child learns. That's the size of the show today. Join us again next week on another edition of The Advocate. The Advocate continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. So catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash the advocate ng don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa join us next week same time on this station let's keep advocating for a better society bye bye now <laughs>